Today, I'll be discussing a case study on pump instability. This 14 meter long vertical pump is used for circulating nuclear waste and has eight plain journal bearings. This long vertical pump historically failed due to high vibrations. The displacement probe measurements revealed distinct subsynchronous vibration at 0.49x, indicating rotor dynamic instability. To solve this vibration issue, the plane journal bearings are replaced with four pad tilting pad bearings. Before reaching to the solution, rotor dynamic stability analysis was performed to detect the problem and find a solution. In stability analysis, typically the negative log deck tends to make the rotor unstable and generate large vibration. Here are predicted two casing mode shapes. In this case, the pump casing modes are less consequential than the rotor modes. Now, let's look into the rotor mode shapes. All five modes have negative log deck, which is likely causing the vibration problems. Switching to tilting pad bearings made the log deck positive, meaning the rotor is stable. Tilting pad journal bearings also have higher stiffness than plain journal bearings, pushing the majority of rotor modes above the 1600 RPM running speed. With tilting pad bearings, the rotor motion is substantially reduced at 775 RPM. Compared to the plain journal bearing cases. Now let's look into the test measurements. The switch to tilting pad journal bearings eliminated subsynchronous vibration, improving seal and bearing life. In a nutshell, using plain journal bearings for a skinny long vertical pump is just a bad design. Also, tilting pad journal bearings are good for stability and unloaded or lightly loaded plain journal bearings are bad for stability. All right, this is all I have for you today. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next videos.